going to have a, a gallery and an artist's retreat and a theatre. Oh, jolly good. <sighs> Dad? Dad, what is it? There's a body. What? A body? <laughs> hey, come and sit down, love. Oh. Now, where, where's, where's this body? It's on the side of the road, between my place and, and here. My goodness. And it's a man in his early 60s? No, 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 no. It's, it's a woman. It's a young woman. Love, um, got a couple of questions for you. No. Uh, I no. Is that all right? I mean, is it going to take long? Cos I've actually got a lot to do. No, is Joshua home? No, he's still away. And when will he be back? Not sure. Well, when did he leave exactly? Well, I really don't know. He doesn't actually tell me his every move. Now that party at Brockburn House. Did you leave at all? Before I turned up with the baby? No. Why? We're just confirming everyone's movements that night. Well, I was busy serving guests all night. Did you know Lorna Falstone? I mean, I knew how to look at, but not to speak to. You all right, Pet? Yeah, yeah. Dad doesn't actually like people being around. Ah, uh, Mr Heslop, uh, dear Healy. The police. What have you done now? Nothing. They're just leaving. And she needs sticking in jail for that botch-up job that I've just had to fix up, you know. I mean, I did what you said. She thinks she knows everything that there is to know, and she's only been doing it five minutes, eh? But I actually did what you said. <laughs> Kids, eh? Who would have them? Thank you for the other night, by the way, when you came to the house. No, 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 you really helped with everything. Oh, well, finding a dead body must have come as a bit of a shock. Well, I appreciate it. And I'm pretty sure that you saved me from fainting in front of everyone, so... Yeah. Is there, uh, something that we can help you with? Well, uh, we came to talk to your son, but we understand Joshua's away at the moment. Yes. Uh, he's teaching in Bradgy Hall. It's, uh... Posh arty type place, you know. Makes uh, Brock Wall not modest, you know. Is that everything then? Because I need to get on with my jobs. Aye, for now, but we may talk later. Now, you need any support, Mr. Heslop, you just let us know. Right, bye, love. Oh, Mum. Why do you always do that? Why do you always stick up for him? No, I don't care. You never tell me the truth. What's going on? Is Thomas OK, pet? Are you OK? Are you hurt? Why has she got Lorna's baby? Listen, love, why don't you give Thomas to D.S. Healy here? And we can talk about this. Talk about what? What haven't you told me? You haven't even been here, Josh. Let's just stay calm. Now then, whose is the pickup truck in the barn? What? With a broken windshield. Now, is it your dad's? What? Is your dad here, love? Is he in the house? Uh, me dad? This isn't what you think he is. Uh, no, you don't have to protect him any longer, love. It's over. Now, you come with us. Come on. Come. Dad, please. What are you doing? Dad, just pull the gun down. Now, listen to your daughter, Mr. Heslop. Why? It's over. She just said so herself. Oh, not for your children, it's not, Mr. Heslop. Not for Nettie, Joshua, and Thomas, it's not. What did you just say? Now, Nettie's leaving. Uh, now, he, she's leaving with my colleague. Tell us. What did you do? I never meant to hurt her. You killed her? You killed Lorna? You murdered her! <laughs> Hey, 
Joshua, put the gun down. You make me sick. Go on, shoot me. Joshua, it's not worth it, Pet. Think. You can get through this, love. I can't. I won't. You can, and you will. I loved her. I loved her. You kill me! Joshua, if you shoot, you'll be as bad as him. You'll go to prison. Is that what you want? I don't understand. I don't understand anything. No, just, just you give me the gun, pet. Just, just, just give me the gun! I'm arresting you for the murder of Lorna Falstone and Ronald Brown. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something you learned to lie in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Come on. If only I turned up sooner. I'm sorry about the bump to the head. The bump? You took a shot at me. I needed a, a, a dis distraction to get away. Uh, well, I'd say I came off better than Lorna and Ronnie. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it, you know. Killing Lorna or killing Ronnie? I didn't kill Lorna. She collapsed. Aye. While you were trying to strangle her. What was your relationship with Lorna, exactly? Well, me and Lorna. Hmm. Well, we, uh, we wanted to be together. Before Thomas was born, we used to meet up at that lodge when no one else could see us. And she was, what, roughly the same age as your daughter? I don't know, it didn't matter. We had plans. Life. Away from here, just the two of us, together. Is that why she was running away from you in a Force 10 gale? No way, yeah. That was because of him. Him? You mean Ronald Brown? Yeah. Feeble excuse of a man going on about, you know, how she could be an artist and uh, look after Thomas on her own terms. Didn't need anyone else. He just wanted her for himself. See this? It's all of this. It's all down to him, all of it. Ah, well, newsflash, love. Ronnie didn't know you had anything to do with Lorna. I went over to his place to have out with him. And he was, he was acting all innocent. And that's when he told me how f fond he was of Lorna. And that's why you killed an innocent man. Because he was fond. I loved her! I loved her! Why did you even go to his house? Lorna was already dead. Uh, no, no, no. She was dead because of him. Mr. Heslop, Ronald Brown didn't kill Lorna. You did. No, 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 no. I couldn't let her take away my boy. So why didn't you go back for your boy? Mm -hmm. After you chased his mam to her death? Ah, you couldn't do that, could you? Draw attention to yourself, no. You'd rather leave the bairn to the mercy of the storm. No, I would have gone back. I would have. So why didn't you? But when I saw Nettie was, was, was holding him in the kitchen, <laughs> I didn't know what to do. If you ask me, they're all better off without you. The loyalty that Nettie has shown you. I'm a father. She should be loyal to me. Yeah, well, that doesn't make you her master. Any more than it did Lorna's. Take him down. <laughs>